My name is Melita and um, I'm a voiceover artist and a journalist and copywriter and I've been working for Communique for one year. We did a voiceover for Moaz um, which I thought was really good like that was a great great cause like to work on. I mean I remember I was sitting at a pool and she came up to me and we were talking and she said oh what are you doing you've gone freelance and um, and then you know before I knew it she said oh yeah you know I'm gonna I'm gonna get you on board and I thought this is that's a first you know it's the first time I've been recruited for something in a pool you know she's got a lot of lot of ideas she's very creative so it's fun working with her. I think you know she comes up with unusual ideas thinks outside the box I mean you know she started this company when she was what 23 you know, I think that's quite impressive. When you have a conversation with her, she's got a lot of energy. You know, you can kind of feel it. She's got a good vibe. My name is Helen Kassaturjani. I'm a graphic designer. I've been a graphic designer since I met Bernice. <laughs> I was the f her first employee. Pretty much thanks to her, I, I got on a computer and today I'm a graphic designer. I was 19 at the time and um, she was very responsible and very driven and and bottom line, she pushed me. She was a mentor in many ways, you know, not just, not just, um, not just for the graphics. She wasn't just my boss, she was a, f a friend, you know. I think there's, there's always been a sense of family with, with, with Bernice's company. We're all ourselves when we're together. There's no powers, struggles, like a family, you know. There's no judgment between each other, all these kind of things. Radiant. Um, I used to be first, uh, I was Bernice's personal assistant, then um, I was an account executive, so I had some uh, brands on there that I used to take care of. It was fun, it was very hectic, um, uh, always on the go, um, Bernice is full of energy and uh, she represented so Communique was like her. I always wondered how she could manage everything. Like, you can see her, like, she's all over the place. There, here, there, doing this, doing that. But then, at the end, like, it's done. My name's Tony Bonello. I retired. I was working in England as a designer, print farmer, everything. After three years, I got fed up of it. And there was an advert in the paper. This person who put the advert wanted a junior graphic designer. After three months, the phone rings one day. And it's Bernice. I didn't know her. And she said, I can't give you the job of graphic junior designer, but let's meet. And I up, ended up, she said, I need someone to help me run the company, also look after some clients. And that's how it started off. We got on very well together. We used to do clients together, we used to go to meetings together. So my name is Jill Zamit. At the time, I was the marketing director of Communica Creative. I got to know Bernice in probably the end of 97. Uh, and my own company, it was called Creative Marketing. She had her own company called Communique. We were very original. We just joined the two names and got on with the business. And I would say within three or four meetings, that was it. We teamed up and I have to admit, we are complete opposites, Benisa and I, and, but we complemented each other beautifully. I can say I enjoyed all my time working with Benny's. Um, she had her approach, I had mine but we, we complemented each other well. I'm Susan Paris Roding. I have been approximately 30 years in Malta and I've known Bernice for 26 years. You know, Bernice knew what she wanted and she dragged us all along and we had uh, a nice time. It was very creative, fresh. We always stayed in contact. So when she was in the plaza, I helped her out a bit. Now I'm helping her out a bit when she needs. So there was always this contact, we never stopped. And, and she did a great job. I mean, she's as driven now as she was 30 years ago. She knows what she wants, she's creative. She loves what she does, uh, even if it tires her sometimes, but she, she keeps pushing through. She's easy to get along with. She's not just an ex-boss, but a good friend. It's, it's well known in Malta, because when people ask me like, where have you worked and this, and I mention Communique, people know Communique. So it's a brand, it's there. 